Denerim, the largest city and capital of Ferelden. Long ago, the elves lived as slaves to humans, and though they've been free for many generations now, they are far from equals. Here they live in a wall of life communities known as Elves the Alien. Elves are a strong Working people as servants and take pride in their close can. community. This is the only world you've ever known. Wake up, cousin. Until now. Why are you still in bed? It's your big day. What, you're shy now? I sweet-talked your father into letting me share the good news. You do remember what today is, don't you? A double wedding. You're getting married, and so is Soros. That's what I came to tell you. Your bride, Nessiara, she's here early. I know. You're so lucky. All right, I'll stop tormenting you. I should go talk to the other bridesmaids and find my dress. Oh, Soros said that he'll be waiting for you outside. So move it. Good morning, my son. It's your big day. Oh, I wish your mother could have been here. All right, time for you to go find Soros. The sooner this wedding starts, the less chance you two have to escape. Oh, one last thing before you go, son. Your martial training, the sword play, knives, and whatever else your mother trained you in, Best not to mention it to your betrothed. Well, it's not exactly something that would have made it easy to find a match for you. Well, we don't want to seem like troublemakers after all. Adaya made that mistake. Our world is full of so many injustices. Take this. Your mother would have wanted you to have it. It's the very least I can give you as you start your new life. Go on, then. I still have some things to do, and Soros is no doubt waiting for you. Hmm? Go on. I'll be out in a little bit. Afternoon, my friend. What's a good word? It's a wedding, isn't it? Hooray! Woohoo! Yeah!
Where's the drink? We're all happy for you and Soros. I'm just... Many blessings, young one. We hope to stay for the celebration, but we must be off. The Ostagar ruins. The army camp there is calling for laborers. We wanted to look for work in High Ever. But that's just not possible. Moving to a different alienage isn't easy. Travel and bribes cost money. Humans are a suspicious lot. I've heard the ones in High Ever are worse than here. You're still a child. You can't do anything. Enjoy your special day and put us out of your mind. What my husband means is, you're very generous, but we don't need charity to solve our problems. Many thanks. Again, blessings on your day. Wait! Can I talk to you a moment? I apologize for my parents. They're too proud to accept help, much less ask for it. My parents will labor in the army camp, and they'll expect me to do the same, but... I don't like the idea of being surrounded by human soldiers who haven't seen a woman in months. Of course, but I can't imagine anyone here has much to spare. We'd need another three silvers to make it to High Ever. And if we got another ten silvers, we could rent a house here. Maybe one large enough to start a business. But <laughs> that's just dream talk. Nobody has that much money, and if they did, why would they give it to us? I don't have much hope. I would, but my father would have to believe I have a future here. Really? All right. If you think that will help. Hello again. Isn't your wedding soon? My daughter? I don't take advice from children, nor do I plan to split up my family. Now excuse me. You speak out of place, young one. My family's business is none of yours. Congratulations. Well, there you go again with breeding. We're not horses, you know. But bloodlines are important, that's all I'm saying. I think the whole notion is ridiculous. Well, you've got the Don't be thing. nervous. It only hurts. What are you doing here? You should be getting ready for your wedding. Of course I'll be there. Now shoo. I'm the Puppet King. I have a million, million knights. I'm King Merrick. You are dead, dead, dead. <laughs> 